Hey everyone, I'm Fred Ranger and I hope you're doing good. In today's video, I want to share my top five accessories. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, my top five accessories for the Leica Q2. This little camera is becoming my favorite camera of all time, not necessarily for the features, but for the shooting experience and the fact that I'm bringing it everywhere I go. So without further ado, let's deep dive into the five accessories you should buy for your Leica Q2. So the Leica Q2 is offering a very interesting shooting experience right from the get-go. If you look at the size of it, and if you look also at the way they've designed the thumb, uh, I would say the thumb rest here, and also the limited buttons on the back, it's really a good shooting experience. It's well balanced with the lens, not too heavy, not too light, uh, but there are some things that make the shooting experience even better. The first thing I would say is I don't go on any point and shoot, quote unquote, point and shoot camera uh, without any thumb rest. So this is probably the first thing I buy when I bought the X100V uh, and all the X100s and even the X-Pro. And now on the uh, Leica Q2, it's the same thing. So although I do like the uh, little thumb uh, rest here that they make, it's like a little rounded thing that you could put your, your thumbs on. Uh, there's nothing like having a thumb rest and it, this is a metal one. This is a very, very, I mean, look at that. Very solid one. This is a metal one. You put it there and it's the, the cut is actually perfect for the Leica Q2. It offers an amount of grip that is not possible without it, of course, but also it lets you push on that little crop button. This is the one that lets you do the um, 28, 35, 75, and 90, I think. Um, I don't use it a lot, but uh, the button is still there, and it, I think you can assign it to another function if you want. So that's the first item that should go on your list if you buy the Leica Q2. This is the original one from Leica. I know that um, Mechanical, I'll put the link down below. There's another brand that does a very high-end one, a little bit cheaper than the Leica one. But I went with the Leica one, I mean, I said, might as well with uh, this camera that is coming with me every day, might as well just buy the, the original part. Not cheap, but a very essential, at least for me, uh, tool to make the shooting experience even better on the Leica Q2. So that's the first one. The second one, and I've been asked a lot about this one because I featured it in my last video about why I shoot Leica, but also, uh, another one about the Leica Q2 where I did some street photography and it's my lens cap. Nobody thinks about lens cap and go like, hey, should I upgrade my lens cap? But for the Leica Q2, it does come with a very, very nice metal uh, lens hood and it also comes with a metal lens cap. The thing about the metal lens cap is that first of all, it is heavy. Do I want my lens cap to be heavy when I'm, you know, uh, bring in a camera that is already a bit on the heavy side for point and shoot? No, and I don't want to lose it uh, because it's not, uh, uh, you know, staying on all the time. I need to put it in my pocket and stuff like that. But most importantly, uh, if I bang it, it's metal, right? So it's going to have dent and of course it's going to pr protect the lens, but it's not the most ideal solution. So Match Technical came with a perfectly cut rubber piece that you can see here and that acts as your lens hood and it fits perfectly on like so, like that. And then you've got a very protected lens hood um, and lens cap, should I say, and your lens hood is protected. The cool part is that, you know, it comes off very easily, it comes on very easily, but it also comes with this little uh, dangle thing that you can attach or not, but I, when I travel, I like to attach it. So I go like this, and then you don't lose your lens cap when you're shooting or when you're traveling because it's attached to the body of the Q2. Some people might find that uh, uh, obtrusive. I don't, but uh, you, I mean, you have the choice to put it or not. I choose to put it so I don't lose the actual lens, ca uh, lens cap itself. So this is the second one, uh, second article that I really recommend. The third one is definitely not necessary, but if you look at the Leica Q2, there's no actual grip here. So some people will go with a, an external grip. I haven't tried the external grip, so we'll see how that goes when I'm able to try it. But in the meantime, what I said is like, okay, so let's protect my uh, investment. Let's call it this way with a Leica. 
with a case and this is a very very nice artisan and artist uh, case made in Japan that is made by hand and you're paying for the craft you're paying for the quality and this is something you buy once you stick it on your like a Q2 just like so it fits perfectly and the more I'm using it the more I feel that it's you know very snug and and it's really uh, optimal for the the size and the form of the Q2 it actually works with uh, the thumb uh, rest I actually just you know flip it like that and it's ready to go and the good news is that it's very secure so with those locks here click and here click it's lock and loaded it won't fall it won't go anywhere the best part is that you can put your finger here and it offers you kind of the equivalent of a um, you know an external grip so it there is a little dent here that you can see it feels very good it's leather it's there and again i really like this little piece of uh, addition to the leica q2 also makes the camera look very very sexy so that's the third accessory the fourth one, I mean, right now you're seeing the original strap on my Leica Q2, but I might actually switch, and this is one that was featured in my Fujifilm X100V video, but this is a clever supply uh, strap, and why I like these straps, it's because they've got the peak design uh, system, so you can actually have the peak design anchor on your camera, and then you come here, you just clip clip, and then you're ready to go. And when you want to remove the strap, you just unclip it and then you put the strap aside and then your camera is strap less. Again, I've been using the original one since today, but I'm thinking about using this strap. Highly recommend Clever Supply. Very cool guy. Um, and they've made some very good products. And the last one this is one that you're not seeing here, but because this is a lens and you know, there's various thoughts and you know, belief around that. But I want to protect this lens. This is the beautiful Simulux 28mm 1.7. So I don't go without my BNW filters. And yes, those are UV filters. Again, some people don't like them. I prefer to scratch this or to break this. If anything happens, then to scratch the actual front of this beautiful Sumilux lens. So you won't see me without one of these on any of my uh, expensive lenses. So it's on. I put this this uh, lens hood that comes with the, the, the actual Q2. Very, very good also. Uh, it's very snug. You put it there right in place. And when you put the match technical lens uh, cap, now it becomes a very protected camera with the case, the strap and the thumb rest. I thought that this was uh, the best and the most useful, in my opinion, accessories for the Leica Q2. But I want to know, what are you putting on your cameras? Are you a fan of those Peak Design style strap or do you prefer the original one? Are you using the actual lens cap that comes with the Leica Q2? Are you a thumb rest fan or you don't like this and you just like to, you know, the original grip of, of the camera? I want to know. You can actually let me know down below if there is any of those cameras down there, M6, M10, uh, on the Leica side that you would want me to review. Please let me know. There is also a review that's coming up of the XE4 on the Fujifilm side. So a lot of content uh, coming up. So make sure you are subscribed, that you hit that bell notification so you know when I'm going to be dropping another video. And also, if you haven't done so, shoot me a message on my Twitter or my Instagram. And I'm at Fred Ranger and I'll be happily replying as soon as I can. Until then, be happy, enjoy life and enjoy your accessories. Cheers.